here we are again, my dear brothers and sisters, with another episode of Magandang Balita with Ate Joni. Ako po si Joni Villamil, ang inyong abang lingkot, and we're broadcasting direct from the Phil radio station in the heart of Los Angeles. Marami pong salamat sa ating nakilang Panginoon at nabigyan na naman po tayo ng pagkakataong magkasama-sama ngayong gabi. And I would like to greet my kababayans from Surigao, Maradona Buntag sa Inzo Kumanditon, and to my kababayans from Dumaguete, Maayong Buntag kanin yung tanan. And of course, to all of you, a very pleasant evening. My dear brothers and sisters, our guest tonight is Pastor Jeff Kiwa of the LA Filipino Nazarene Church. Pastor Jeff and his wife, Sister Minnie, and I will go way back and we were serving together at Love of Jesus Mission Church in Riverside, California, and that was about 10 years ago. Good evening, Pastor Jeff. Thank you for coming and donating a little bit of your time with us. Matagal tayong di nagkita, ano? Oh nga, good evening, good evening, Sister Joni. Nice to see you again. And uh, nice to see you. Ito, kamusta ka? <laughs> ito, all my kids are back here na. In this, well, except for the oldest one. He wants to stay with his grandparents there in Dumaguete. So, he works mm-hmm. in Cebu and crosses to Dumaguete. Yeah, ito, tinitingnan ito. ko nga yung Facebook mo kanina eh. Nakita ko yung anak mo eh. Parang sinirox mo eh. Kamukhang kamukha. So then, you have all your kids here na, no? Oh, okay naman kami dito. Eto, gwapong-gwapo pa rin. At, <laughs> <laughs> Oo naman, syempre. <laughs> Then, dito kami ngayon, kalilipat lang namin sa Valencia. At oh. uh, busy kami. Uh, we're having a new ministry sa LA, sa downtown. Uh-huh. Kung saan tayo nagsimula, remember? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Ten, Ten years, years ago. ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, kailan lang, no? Yeah. Then, we were sharing food with Sister Annie. I know. Maluto ni Sister Annie. And then we, we ate all of that and enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, alam mo, namimiss ko si Brother Pex. Oh yeah, he's still there. He's still there. I know. Alam mo, naalala ko lang. Ah, Ten years ago, sabi niya sa akin, Jeff, samahan mo nga ako. Uh, punta tayo dyan sa may simbahan, yung malaki. Doon sa may 3rd and Vermont. Yeah, sabi yeah. niya, doon tayo. Ano, kasi naghahanap tayo ng, ano, eh, ng uh, place no, para doon sa simbahan na yun. Sabi niya, mangupahan tayo doon. Kausapin natin yung administrator. No? And then, hindi ko siya nasamahan for some reason. Hindi ko rin alam kung pumunta siya doon. Uh-huh. Pero I just realized, eh, 10 years ago na yun eh. Kung baga naalala ko lang. Sabi ko, pag nakita ko si Brother Pex ngayon, sabi ko, Brother Pex, punta ka na sa simbahan na yun. Ako na yung pastor doon. <laughs> oh my God! That is where you are now? <laughs> yeah. like, oh my God! Si Attorney Pex Aves. Actually, um, he is Visayan also, oh, no. and uh, his his ex-wife is from our place in Dumaguete. Mm, dun sa law office niya, dun sa, sa may downtown LA, yes. yun yung unang uh, experience ko ng ministry uh-huh. sa, dito sa LA. Nung kadadating ko lang noong 2009, I was invited to uh, conduct a Bible study dun sa law office nila. And... Uh, yung mga uma-attend sa Bible study na alala ko yung mga ano yung mga clients nila na naghihintay <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh madaming clients doon mga <laughs> ano <laughs> ang nakakatuwa ang madaming clients doon mga divorce ang kanilang mga kaso oh my god <laughs> eh, nagba Bible study ako binibira ako ni Pex eh pagkatapos makinig ng mga ng mga kliyente ko parang ayaw na mag-divorce eh. <laughs> Patay ang negosyo. <laughs> Patay ang negosyo. <laughs> Pero ano, we did that for some time. Siguro mga dalawang taon din yun, no? Every, uh, I think every yeah. Friday yata yun, no? Ang yeah, yeah. Hapon. Uh-huh. So, But you already knew Pastor Mark and Sister Oh Oo, oh, 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 oh. I got to know Pastor Mark through, syempre kay Mini. Si Mini na oh. kapatid niya si Dang, asawa si Bong. Eh, magkakasama sila sa Hong Kong. Uh, we were invited doon sa Riverside to help them in a uh, ministry. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a fun experience. Eh. Nakamiss din yung samahan doon sa Riverside. Oh, yeah. yeah. Malayo lang yung drive, no? From, yeah, from Bali. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine every Sunday pag magpipreach ako doon, eh. Uh, I'm uh, I'm driving from ano sa Northridge North, papuntang wow. Riverside yeah so on lead time kailangan mga dalawang oras to and a half yes. hours 
Yeah. Kaya wala And naman akong Pablo. angal eh. Si Pablo nga eh, nasisiprik, kinakagat ng ahas at kung ano-ano na experience, binabato, ginugulpe. Mm-hmm. Eh ako yung ganda-ganda ng sasakyan, aircon pa. Di sa pat ako oh, angal. Praise God. Praise God. Teka we are talking about your ministry. How hmm. did you get into the ministry? Uh, to be honest, um, wala akong plano na mag-ministry noon. I just uh, want to be a regular, average Christian na uh, humatian every Sunday. Uh-huh. Or siguro makakategorize mo pa akong assistant member, no? <laughs> Kasi minsan, ano eh, para akong palitaw eh, palubog pa palitaw, no? Kumbaga, pagka feel eh, kumaaten. Pagka hindi feel, hindi ako kumaaten. Parang ganun. Uh-huh. Then I felt the calling of God uh, exactong year 2000. Uh, na-accidente ko nun three times. Three times akong binangga. So, oh. sa likod. Yeah, sa likod ng kotse. Uh-huh. So, yung una, gamit ko yung auto nung tito ko kasi na-accidente siya. And ginamit ko yung kotse niya kasi kukuha ko ng pera para pambayad doon sa uh-huh. pang ano, pang doon sa hospital na na-accidente siya. Uh-huh. And then, binangga yung kotse niya sa likod. Wasak. Tapos, the following week, binang, uh, Christmas party naman ng company pauwi na ako, madaling araw, binanggaan na naman ako. Uh, dala-dala ko naman, auto ng binan ko. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, inatid ko naman yung, the following week na naman, New Year's Eve, inatid ko naman yung yung kapatid ng binan ko doon sa binihin something sa uh-huh. sa luneta. Dahil uh, may sakit siya noon or whatever. Uh, pinag-drive ko lang. Binanggaan na naman ako. Ibang kotse naman. <laughs> yung, Ibang kotse na naman to pero auto rin nung... kotse, iba-ibang kotse. Oo, oh, pero hindi ko mga ang maganda hindi ko mga kotse lahat. <laughs> kotse na naman ng Benan. Oh, ano so, I know, puro wasak lahat 'yon, ano. So, na-realize ko, sabi ko, parang bangga ako ng bangga, sabi ko. And then, ano, medyo parang medyo nagkaroon ako ng ano, uh, uh, thirst and hunger doon mm-hmm. sa word, parang going back to sa basics, no. Tapos uh, I, I got involved doon sa ministry sa church namin. Yeah. And then eventually, um, nagkaroon ako ng maliit na company. Uh, it's a training company na ang goal ko is to reflect God's glory doon sa marketplace. No? So, sabi ng Lord, I'm calling you to a ministry shepherding. Pero sabi ko, sige Lord, imamodify natin yan. Magpapastor ako sa marketplace. Uh-huh. So it's a training consul- consultancy job. Pero, Para, so I, that's the JPG seminar. Seminar. So, pero I thought, yun yung tamang gawin pero syempre God has another plan and then nakapunta kami sa US and in fact yung pagpunta namin sa US hindi ito yung tipong dramatic na oh alis na kami at may mission kami hindi, hindi ganun talagang uh, we're one of the Filipinos who are looking for a better life in America na sabi nga eh, uh, American dream no So, ang gusto namin, ang goal namin, pagdating namin dito, magkaroon ng bahay, maganda, malaki, may swimming pool sa likod. <laughs> Tipong may swimming pool sa likod na hindi naman namin paliliguan. Yung mga ganun. Naka-BMW kami, sports car, naka-hammer. Yung mga ganun mga pangarap, di ba? So, lahat meron ka. Parang typical America. Uh-huh. Pero nagbago yung ihip ng hangin. God called me to uh, sa full-time ministry. So, I got involved doon sa Riverside kung saan nagkakilala tayo. And then, Uh, I got involved sa, uh, sa una, life group lang eh. Mm-hmm. Simula kami ng life group sa bahay. Then eventually dumami, naging church. Mm-hmm. Then we merged to uh, to Church of the Nazarene. Uh-huh. It's a new hope. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. uh, uh, hanggang ngayon, nandun pa yung mga members namin, mga leaders. Then I, na ngayon, na-transfer naman ako. I was invited to join the team sa LA. So uh-huh. I'll be uh, eventually pastoring yung LA First Church of the Nazarene. Uh, the ah. Filipino Congregation, TFC, no? parang kapamilya. <laughs> <laughs> so, kapamilya naman Pilip- talaga. <laughs> yeah, kung Pilipino ka, taga-LA ka, o may kilala kang Pilipino, yan. Dali yes, yung bahan namin. Yun. Yeah. Madami pagkain doon, matakay sa amin. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Pilipino ba naman? I know. Pahuli, <laughs> no? Parang fiesta lagi. Yeah. Which is, which is also a good thing dahil, you know, we talk uh, mm-hmm. about our personal uh, life pag uh, mga problema natin na idadaing natin sa mga kasama habang kumakain, mm. mm. lalong sumasarap yung kain because of the kwento. Yeah. Kaya, kaya minsan, hindi na mag, mag, ano eh, magka-uwian. Minsan, naabot na mm. hati eh, dahil masarap ang kwentuhan. 
At tayo lang ang lahi na habang kumakain ng tanghalian, nagtatanungan na, ano nga punan? <laughs> <laughs> ano nga kainin natin sa merienda? Tayo lang ang ganun. <laughs> sa bahay ganun ganun kami kaya hindi hindi ako magtataka diyan dahil my kids pagkatapos oh uh, what's for dinner <laughs> minsan hmm. ako pa yung nagtatanong pagka tinanong mo nga bakit hindi ka nag ano bakit uh, hindi mo i-try sa ano bakit mo tinatry dito sa Filipino church bakit hindi sa black church or white church or hispanic church mm-hmm. sabi nila kasi after ng service ano lang yung coffee at saka biscuit lang dito meron talagang fried rice at saka sisig <laughs> My friend is <laughs> Takatsi. Anyway, so uh-huh. Pastor, I'm going to uh, let you share mm-hmm. your message today. And this is about Oh, it's about basics of our business. Uh, monkey business? Hindi, I'm just Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Lord's business. <laughs> Amen. The spiritual business. Okay. Mm. So go ahead and I'll uh, mute myself habang mm-hmm. nag-share ka para makikinig ako. Okay, thank you Sister Joni. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, have, uh, having me here sa yung program. Maraming 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 salamat. Naalala ko lang uh, doon sa Galatians, no? sabi ni Paul, Galatians 6.9 Let us not get tired of doing good for we will reap at the proper time if you don't give up. Kasi si Paul ang nag-share, sabi niya It's an encouragement no for especially kasi napansin ko yung mga view, mga viewers mo yung mga listeners mo eh, mostly ano mga workers sabi ni Paul I'd like to encourage you no let us not get tired of doing good no pero bakit di ba what is the goal sabi ni Paul simple lang goal natin for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up pero may follow up question siguro paano how di ba alam mo si Sir Joni uh, church management is like driving a bus no kumbaga on its way to a field trip no everyone are excited to hop on the bus probably no parang siyempre parang ang saya-saya it's a kumbaga uh, an adventure for all of us but the real challenges are maintaining the safety yung security cleanliness comfort etc and the sense of purpose bakit tayo nandito lahat sa loob ng bus na to right or may mga members pa tayo siguro no kagaya ng sa bus na papuntang field trip kumbaga yung parallelism naman sa church or sa ating uh, spiritual walk with god no may mga nagtatanong naman na Are we there yet? So, familiar ba tayo doon yung mga anak natin? Pagbabiyahe tayo papuntang Palm Springs, San Francisco, or Las Vegas. O, lagi nila tanong, are we there yet? So, ganun din. May mga members tayo sa simbahan na maaaring mahili magtanong. Ano, are we there yet, Pastor? Pero along the way, napansin nyo ba? Some will get bored and get off the bus. Some were called to be in other places. Probably, you know, siguro uh, they need to reroute. No, and some will decide to finish the trip. No, kumbaga, may umalis na maganda, may umalis na hindi maganda, may umalis dahil uh, meron nakapagkasawa sa ibang lugar o maari nag-abroad, meron namang umalis dahil uh, may nakasama na loob. Maraming reason. No? Along the way then, some new faces will join the field trip. And regardless how many are inside the bus, sa totoo lang, ang masaya dito, everyone are excited to finish the trip together. Same thing no, with, uh, sa parallelism nga sa ating spiritual walk. Excited tayo lahat to see the Lord no, to finish together yung adventure na to. Ang tanong, no, what is God's will? Ano nga ba ang gusto ng Diyos? Ako, sa totoo lang, ano, ano eh, uh, isa sa na-observe ko, no, kung pwede niya lang sabihin audibly, baka sabihin niya sa atin, eh, do not waste the empty seats inside the bus. No, same thing with us na sa church management. Do not waste the empty seats no, or empty pews doon sa loob ng church natin. Kasi being the bus owner or aka Lord Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior, it is His desire, I'm sure, to see as much people as possible. Right? He wished to welcome us all in a place full of eternal joy. You know, a limitless field trip, ika nga, in the paradise He prepared for us. Pero paano nga, how? Eh, sabi ni Pablo, do not give up. Eh, paano ko hindi magigive up? Ngayon, I'd like to share something to you. And to all your listeners and uh, yung mga viewers mo, 
specifically those who are uh, workers and leaders, pastors sa mga churches. No? Let's revisit the basics. Ano ba itong basics na to? Kasi kung titingnan natin sa uh, Economics 101 natin siguro nung college, maaalala nyo, no? may tinatawag na basics of uh, business para maging successful. Yeah. So kailangan may alam mo yung mga different components, 'di ba? Kagaya ng marketing, yung your ability to determine and sell the right product to the right customer at the right time. Mm-hmm. Siguro dapat meron kang alam sa finance, no? Your ability to acquire the money you need and account for the money you receive. Mm-hmm. Andiyan yung production, yung distribution, research and development, regulation, labor. Yes. Nako, ang daming different components ng business. Mm-hmm. Pero come to think of it, there are only two kinds, no? Uh, how to make money. No, ano yung dapat mong ibenta? PNS, products and services. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yung nagtitinda ng taho sa kanto, yung, alam mo yun, yung sales lady, or si Henry C na may ari ng, ng SM, or... Yung Amazon, lahat siya, nagbebenta ng products. Mm-hmm. Yung doktor, yung nurses na frontliners natin, si attorney Pex na lawyer. Ito naman, mga servisyo naman ang binibenta nila. So, dalawa lang ang binibenta sa buong mundo. Products or services. Nakita ko, napansin ko, in parallelism with church management sa ating uh, spiritual walk with God. In spirituality, sabi natin, uh, enabled for us to win souls, no? kailangan we need to follow the Great Commission. Ngayon, kung may dalawang products ang binibenta sa mundo ng business, eh, kumbaga in parallelism, eh, dalawang bagay rin na dapat natin pagtuunan ng pansin. Yun yung evangelism at saka discipleship. No? Ito para sa akin yung basics of our business. Eh. Kasi sabi sa Mark 1.15, ano, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. In Acts 13.47, sabi naman doon, for this is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. At syempre, yung pinakasikat na Great Commission, Matthew 28.19-20, na ito yung huling habilin ni Jesus eh, nung bago siya nag-ascend sa heaven, na dapat dito tayo lahat busy, nakakalungkot, madaming simbahan, na hindi ito ang pinagtutunan ng pansin. No, sabi dito, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Ano ba yung evangelism? Kasi yung evangelism, to evangelize, sister, is like parang bang tipong nakapulot ka ng napakaraming treasure, no? Evangelism is sharing the wealth, kumbaga. Yung making disciples naman is uh, teaching them how to spend it wisely. So yun yung difference nila somehow. Ngayon, kung babalikan natin yung, yung, yung perspektibo ng negosyo, our ultimate goal naman talaga is to gain profit. Wala pa akong nakita ng tao except for charitable institutions, no? na nagnegosyo ng ayaw ng profit, right? <laughs> Even actually, no, tayo dito sa sa ating negosyo, we're minding our father's business. Gusto natin ng profit. Our ult- our ultimate goal, no, sa negosyo sa 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 business perspective is to gain profit, pera. Pero sa atin naman bilang pastor, bilang isang manggagawa, isang worker, isang leader na simbahan, our ultimate goal is to win souls. Make disciples who will make disciples. Ang tawag natin doon, soul profit. Now, what is the formula ba? No? Kung babalikin natin yung Economics 101, ang formula for solving profit is fairly simple. No, P equals R minus C. Ano ibig sabihin? Profit equals revenue minus cost. No? Kung baga, sa simpleng kaling salita, eh, ang formula ay yung tinubo mo, No, equals kinita mo minus yung puunan. Or kinita mo minus puunan equals tinubo mo. Yeah. So, kung convert natin, yung kinita mo, limbawa, $100. Ang puunan mo naman, minus mo, $10. So, magkano ang tubo? $90. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung nagda-dollar sa inyo mga mata natin. Doon sa $90. Kasi yung tinubo mo eh. Ngayon, sa sole profit naman, ano naman yung uh, formula in solving 
a sole profit. Simple lang. Uh, parang parehas din, pero kasi ang maganda sa Diyos, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-box sa mathematics. Eh. Ang maganda sa Diyos, hindi mo pwedeng siyang i-box sa time, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-box sa economics. No, sa, ang, ang sole profit uh, is equals to evangelized people minus discipled people. Ano, i- anong ibig sabihin? Diba, nag, sampu yung na-evangelize mong tao, na-share, nag-share ka ng gospel sa sampung tao. Tapos, tatlo yung tumanggap. So, i-minus mo yun. So, meron kang sole profit na tatlo. Right? Pero sa ibang perspektibo, pwede mo rin siyang tingnan na nag-sampung, nag-evangelize ka sa sampung tao. Halimbawa, tumanggap yung sampung tao. I-minus mo yung tatlong na-disciple mo. No? So, meron kang sampung Uh, soul profit plus three potential exponential growth. Yun yung pinakamaganda doon. Yun yung magandang uh, multiplication ng Panginoon. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, I remember no, nung college ako, nung nakakilala ako sa Diyos dahil sa aking butihing profesor sa kolehiyo At uh, naalala ko noon, napakatsaga niya, napakabait niya sa akin, dinadala niya ako sa simbahan, napakain niya ako. Uh, sa akin. Then nakita ko talaga si Jesus Christ sa buhay niya. And then nainganyo ako na pumunta na simbahan, makinig ng salita, umati ng Bible study, nagbasa ako ng word and everything. Kasi naging Christian ako. Never ko na-realize na ako yung magiging Christian, Christian doon sa mga dinami-dami ng dinidisciples niya, doon sa aming sa aming, uh, sa aming skwelahan. At uh, ako siguro yung huling-huli na tatanggap. At nakakatawa, ako yung tumanggap At the same time, ako rin yung nag-serve. No? And now, I gave birth to thousands of people being evangelized, hundreds of being discipled. And when I die, the pay it forward exponential growth will continue. Kung baga, ibig sabihin, uh, yun, yung, ano, yun yung soul profit. Eh. Kung baga, pag may nag-invest, sigurado merong aanihin sa dulo. Naalala ko lang si ano si Ray Kroc no siya yung founder ng McDonald's. Meron siyang pangarap before, eh, no? he has a dream na ang gusto niya sana daw someday dumating yung panahon na habang natutulog siya eh kaching kaching tumutunog yung cash register <laughs> at uh, meron siyang ano meron siyang kinikita pa rin. Abay nagkatotoo kasi tulog na siya dito sa US, doon sa Asia yung mga franchisee niya yung mga nag-franchise sa McDonald's, eh, daytime. Mm-hmm. O lalo na ngayon. Imagine mo, <laughs> ha? 24 hours na ngayon, eh. So, yeah, buong mundo, 24 hours na McDonald's in drive through So, at patay na tong si Ray Kroc. Imagine mo, patay ka na, kung kaching kaching So, imagine, no, yung exponential growth na na-experience ni Ray Kroc. Napaka-successful. Pero si Ray Kroc lang to, eh. Wala naman tong panama sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Sa totoo lang, may tinatawag na five-fold ministry daw. No? Yung apostle, yung prophet, yung evangelist, yung pastor, yung teacher. At ito daw ay maaaring matagpuan sa bawat isa sa atin. Maaaring hindi tayo tinawag na maging apostle, kagaya ni Pablo, maging teacher, maging pastor, maging prophet. Pero lahat tayo, evangelist. Kasi lahat tayo may kwento eh. Lahat tayo may kwento paano tayo sinagip. Lahat tayo may kwento paano tayo minahal. Lahat tayo may kwento, paano tayo pinatawad. So meron tayong kwento na walang kwenta na pwede, na, pwede nating i-share sa lahat ng tao. Yun yung evangelism. Evangelism is seeking the lost. Kung baga, Jesus style. No? I- tipong iiwan yung 99, hanapin yung isa. Yes. No? Para lang ibalik. No? Para lang makakilala sa kanya. Mm-hmm. No? Tiningnan ko ngayon, doon sa dictionary, ang ibig sabihin ng evangelism. No? It's a noun, no? the spreading of the Christian gospel daw by public preaching or personal witness. Para sa akin, mas importante yung personal witness. Kasi you can be like a, a clanging cymbals, no? a loud gong na public preaching. Pero hindi naman nakikita sa buhay mo, mas importante para sa akin yung personal witness. Sabi, sabi din sa dictionary, Ang meaning daw ng evangelism is a zealous ad- advocacy of a cause. So, in other words, you need, kumbaga, sa evangelism, you choose to be nice. <laughs> Kahit hindi ka nice, right? Kasi minamarket mo si Lord eh. No, ito yung tipo na mamumuunan ka. Nako, may kilala ko. Kasama ko sa trabaho, pinsan ko, kaibigan ko, classmate ko ng high school. 
paano ko siya i-evangelize? Eh, may mamumuunan ka. You must look like Jesus. Jesus must be seen in your life. No? Di po mamumunan ka. Lilibre mo na Starbucks yan. Libre mo ng pamasahe sa FX or uh, tipong bibila mo ng Bible yan. Tipong, yes. ano yun? Tuturo mo sa kanya manood ng podcast. No? Bibila mo ng mga malilit na books para sa mga starter, yung mga self-help na para mas patuto silang manalangin, magbasa ng Biblia. Invite mo sa life group. papakainin mo ulit. So, magastos, di ba? At uh, medyo hindi ganun kadali. Pero it's all worth it. Also, you need to be intentional. Dapat kilala mo kung sino yung pinapupuntahan sa'yo ng Panginoon. At kung nasaan ka nandun, yun yung, yun yung ano, evangelism place for you. Patungkol naman doon sa discipleship. Kung, kasi we're talking about basics of our business. No? Evangelism, discipleship. Pero ano ba yung meaning ng disciple kasi? No? Ang disciple kasi is simply someone who believes in Jesus no? and seeks to follow Him in His or her daily life. Ganun lang kasimple yon Pero ang mas magandang tanong, sister, what does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus? Siyempre, it means first of all that we want to learn from Him. Yun yung pinaka-importante. Meron kang gana na matuto. o sino siya at makipagrelasyon sa kanya. And uh, we will, no? siyempre, matututo tayo kung expose natin sarili natin in studying God's Word. No? Sabi nga, eh, magbabad sa presensya ng Diyos. Kung saan ka nagbababad, nandun din yung puso mo. Eh. No? Subukan mo magbabad 24 hours, 48 hours. May mga tao kilala na nanonood ng Korean novela, sister. Walang patid. <laughs> eh, magsi-CR lang yata, yun lang ang pahinga. No? Talagang lalo na pag nagkakasara pa na yung magagandang mga eksena no? sa ano yun, uh, crash landing on you. Di ba? <laughs> Imagine mo, no? ilang oras, walang patid. Talagang nanonood ang mga tao. At kami rin mag-asawa, nanonood kami. No? Nakinikilig din kami. Pero isipin mo na lang na maraming tao na sobrang pagbababad talaga na ginagawa. Uh, panonood ng mga teleserye or mga Korean novela. Pero imagine mo, kung magbabad ka sa salita ng Diyos, eh, talaga mas makikilala mo si Lord kaysa kay Captain Marie. Mm-hmm. Alam mo? <laughs> <laughs> Naalala ko yung anak ko. One, one night, mga stress ng madaling araw. Biglang, mm-hmm. Sabi ko, sino umiiyak? Nagising ako. Sino umiiyak? Sabi ko, yung, yung pala yung katabi ko. <laughs> You're crying. So, you know, oh, mommy, I'm watching the, te- the Korean telenovela. So, I go, huh? And you're crying? So, niya, yeah, yeah, it's an emotional scene. So, I go, oh, my God. <laughs> Nakakatawa. I know, I know. Totoo lang. So, niya, I mean, ngayon, ano na siya, puro na siya uli, school. Mm-hmm. Opat naman siya sa, ano, sa school niya ngayon. But anyway, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alam mo, although evangelism and uh, discipleship no, describe different aspects of Christian life, sa totoo lang, they are interrelated. Eh. Kasi come to think of it, evangelism without discipleship, it leaves new converts hanging in the wind, no, unsure of how to actually live a Christian life. No, It gives an impression na sa conversion, eto lang. Then, eto na yun, end of story. As far as getting their, our tickets to heaven, eto na ba yun? Mm-hmm. Baga, it's like leaving your new converted friend outside the amusement park, no? thinking, oh, That's this, is, yeah, this is it? No, The park is so huge. No, Para nag-invite ka, ka friend, pagda tayo Disneyland. Pagdating doon sa may, sa may entrance ng Disneyland, o dyan ka na, friend. Mm-hmm. Ang evangelism kasi, friend, halika sa Disneyland, eh sumama. Mm-hmm. Evangelize mo na. Diba? And discipleship is allowing them to experience the beauty of what is inside the park. Amen. And discipleship is allowing them to see the beauty no, of having a beautiful relationship with Jesus Christ. No? Growing in Christ. No? At uh, may experience nila kung paano talunin ni Jesus lahat ng problema nila sa parang pang-araw-araw. At ang maganda doon, yung, yung, yung eternal life It will start no, the day nung tinanggap nila si Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. So, the discipleship is very important na kailangan ng follow-up. Ipasok mo naman sa Disneyland. Wag lang naman na sa labas. Oo, oh, tama, tama yun. Tama. <laughs> Sabi kasi, nga sa... No, sige, go ahead, sister. I, I was gonna say, kasi hindi, hindi ka makikilala if you oh. mingle 
di ba? So, syempre, mm-hmm. may, may mga, may, may mga few times na magmimingle kayo, and then, mm-hmm. yun nga, kaya nga, after Bible study, meron pang mga fellowship, ano eh. Yeah, uh, importante times, yun. Di ba? Kasi, magkahingahan ng, mm-hmm. ng is, you know, isina sa puso ng isa't isa. So, mm-hmm. at least nakikilala mo rin yung tao where she's coming from or he is coming from. The better if you can actually relate dahil pinagdaanan mo na yung, yung pinadaanan niya. Actually, nabanggit nga ni Pedro, no? sabi sa 2 Peter 3.18, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No? Ganun kasimple. No? Sa, sa, sa Tagalog, Ikalawang Pedro, ikatlong kabanata, ikalabing walong talata. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ang lalim eh, no? Sabi na magpatuloy kayong lumago sa kagandahang loob at sa pagkakakilala sa ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas na sa Yesu Kristo. No? Paano lalago yung tao eh? Niiwan mo dun sa harapan ng Disneyland. <laughs> That, that's why we're encouraging, no? Uh, all our workers, leaders, pastors, na nakikinig at nanonood ngayon na to go back to our ano, to the basics of our business. May kasabihan nga na baka busy-busy tayo sa kingdom, di na natin kilala yung king. No, dapat eh, in love na in love tayo sa king. No, kaya do not be afraid. Ask the Lord for courage. No, Make disciples. No, We are part of the great commission, not the great omission. The problem is we keep on removing the letter C. No, do not remove the letter C sa Great Commission. Wag nating gawing Great Commission. Kasi yeah. the C is, the C it stands for Christ actually. No, yeah. kumbaga wag natin tatanggalin si Cristo. Yeah. We do not Yeah, we do not need to reinvent the wheel eh. Sa totoo lang, andiyan naman 'yan eh, yung principle na sa Biblia. Hindi na natin kailangan na na ano na baguhin pa. Kaya ang encouragement ko as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus, as an earthly shepherd no uh, my goal is for a person to know Christ and uh, encourage him uh, uh, encourage him or her to read the word worship pray no manifest his love through his or her life no then make disciples no and, and, uh, we will make disciples teach them teach them to endure to lead to plant and also siempre to make disciples a kaya siguro iwan ko yung tanong na to how about you no sa nanonood sa nakikinig no as a church you know, as an individual what are your plans no i encourage you to go back to the drawing board and apply the basics of our business no and then yung evangelism discipleship no missional church financial planning leadership development so on and so forth no kaya nga uh, do not stop uh, sabi na, ni Pablo kanina, Galatians 6.9, no? let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. At saka masarap din pakinggan, sabi sa Matthew 25.21, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. Right? Amen, amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Sister Joni. Nako, thank marami, you. Marami <laughs> thank you so much. I'm really thankful that you 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 spent time with us and mm-hmm. maraming salamat to Sister Mimi and mm-hmm. uh, of course to the kids. Nako si Poriket malaki na. <laughs> <laughs> laki na, oh, laki na siya. Malagita na, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. At uh, ano, nasa ano siya uh, gifted program. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yung panganay ko graduate ng ano, ano sa uh, Point Loma Nazarene University. Dalawa, ano, business course tsaka uh, biblical studies at magna cum laude. Ah, <laughs> mana, sa, mana sa nanay. <laughs> alam mo na. At their BPs, ano? Oo. Ayan, alam mo naman. <laughs> gu- alam mo naman, gwapo lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> o oh, namanan niya yung ano, yung look. Namanan nila yung talino sa nanay. <laughs> Ano si nanay? Joke lang. Nakakatuwa. Wala pa rin pagbabago. Ganun pa rin tayo magbiruan. <laughs> Which is the, the, the best part of it, no? Yeah. So, thank you po. And uh, I pray the best for you and your ministry na sana. Mm-hmm. Of course, marami kayong ma-reach out to LA. Uh, or if you, if you know someone na Pinoy yeah. na who lives in downtown LA or metro LA, please uh, visit our church sa LA First Church of the Nazarene, the Filipino congregation. It's a 125-year-old church. 
Yes. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. Ganun siya katanda. Kaya amoy matanda na yung simbahan eh. <laughs> Pero uh, kumbaga punong-puno ng heritage, punong-puno ng uh, history, uh, punong-puno ng pagmamahal ng pagkain. Ay, pagmamahal sa Diyos pala. <laughs> Ang mahal sa Diyos. <laughs> yeah. Punong-puno ng wisdom from the gray hair. <laughs> I know. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, we'll hope to see you and talk to you again. Thank you. God bless you, sister. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. At yan po, nagtatapos ang ating programa ngayong gabi. Maraming marami pong salamat sa inyong walang sawang pagtangkilik. Sana po ay magkasama-sama po uli tayo. And I thank Pastor Jeffrey Giwa for joining us. And Pastor, I pray that there will be more souls won for the Lord through your ministry. And marami pong salamat din sa ating executive producer na si Kuya Noli Yu of Jayful Radio and Joyful Philippines Media. To all of you, good night. God bless. <music>